On today's video, we're taking a look at this floor plan. This beautiful, almost completed inventory home is ready for you. No waiting to build, but the benefits of new construction. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we are out here in the beautiful hills of Claremont at a beautiful community called Ridgeview. So this home that I'm standing in front of right now is new construction. Clearly it's not done yet, but it is, whoops, an absolute find. So this particular home is very close to being ready to close. You can see obviously and as we walk through the home that it is not completed, but it is so, so, so close. Landscaping is going to be coming very soon with the sod and you can see as we go through the home these last minute touches are going to be put on this home. So this is the spruce floor plan and this is by Pulte Homes. Again, we are here in Ridgeview. This home is located on that corner home site, which I love. I love corner home sites. It really just gives you one neighbor. You've got the, you know, open space on your other side and then look at the view from this bay window. So this is a three bedroom, two bath plus flex room home at 2,162 square feet. Priced under $500,000, quite a bit, a little bit below that, which is really, really good. I never want to say the exact price because things could potentially change, incentives could change, but as of right now, oh boy, is this a deal. Because this home is actually going to be able to close next month, meaning it will be ready to close in the month of May. All right, so big, beautiful bay window. By the way, this is a really large bay window. You know, sometimes it's a smaller window here in the middle, but you have two big windows and then the angled windows, really an extended kind of in an elongated bay window type effect located here on this corner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view of everything out and around. Also want to take note of the floors. So again, the home is not complete, so please ignore all of the dust and debris and the building materials that are kind of scattered around. But this home is going to have this beautiful porcelain tile extended through these living spaces. And right here in this office space or flex space, you not only have your center lighting fixture if you want to add a fan or a really fancy fixture, but they've also added the four recessed lights. So if you use this as an office or a den, it's going to be really nice to have that additional lighting. Very wide entryway. That's one of my favorite things about this spruce floor plan is that your entry is super wide, super great for receiving guests at the front of your home. And of course, you know, the big day of moving in all of your furniture. So over here to my left, to your right is going to be the initial entrance from your garage. It is a two car garage front load. Again, really, really nice. Garages here are about 20 by 20 when you think about how big is that garage. You can't tell it right here because we have additional doors resting in its place, but this is a lovely recessed area, probably about maybe two feet, 18 inches somewhere here to here, which is a great spot if you want to add some additional cabinetry or some cubbies, some hooks, or just do an artwork display. Great spot right here. Over here, you're just going to have your AC handler, but then tucked back over here is going to be your laundry room. Now this laundry room, again, this porcelain tile is extended into this room and you also have the laundry sink already added. So, so far we've got the flex space up front, large wide foyer, extra little nook for areas for cubbies and the really big laundry room. Now back over here, kind of at an angle, which I love my angles, you have this entryway, this kind of a pass through into the guest room zone. You have a bedroom, a bedroom and a full bath so, or a bedroom, bedroom, full bath. So let's take a picture uh, or peek at this bedroom right here. So this one, Again, it's located toward the side of the home. Big, beautiful window, lots of that natural light flooding in. It is carpeted. The carpet's kind of a, uh, a tan with, if you really wanted to pull out some gray undertone, you could, but it's beautiful beige tan cream that kind of mixes in gorgeous with the uh, porcelain tile. And then you have your closet as well. Over here, you're gonna have a linen closet between these two bedrooms. Tucked over here, you're gonna have an additional bedroom, kind of the mirror of the other one that we just looked at, also on the side of the home. Big window, nice big closet. And then tucked back over here is going to be the bathroom for this for these two bedrooms to share. One nice big sink with an elongated counter, cabinets and drawers. You have the tub shower combo. And I really love that that tile work goes all the way up to the ceiling. So not only do you have the tile work, but you also have the accent Listello tile, which is really beautiful. Kind of has a, um, uh, an iridescent kind of a quality to it. It's really lovely. All right, so now let's take a look at the hub of the home. So right over here again with the angled walls, this is a deep pantry. I really like this. It's nice and deep, kind of a reach in, walk in type pantry. 
and then here is that main hub of the home. So this spruce floor plan, you know, one of the things that I really like about it, and by the way, I do have the full video tour of this same floor plan by this builder, which was a showcase model in one of their other communities. That community is now, uh, that model is now closed, but we're going to reference that too so that you can go walk back and look through that and see how they kind of had it decorated. But this angular wall right here is something I really, really like, kind of designating this space over here kind of as the family zone. All right, so this kitchen, let's take a look at it. Remember, this is the home that we're talking about that's for sale. So you have beautiful white cabinets. You have a really nice, a different looking um, uh, hardware, fresh nickel hardware. This is your flat cooktop. And you also have the gourmet kitchen option because you can see you've got the uh, stainless steel vent. You have the cooktop over here. And then you have your oven and your microwave up above. Lots of cabinetry here. Nice big island. You can also see that there's two additional spots for your pre-wire. So you can add those little pops of your personality here in this home by choosing whichever ones you want. Um, one of the other things I want to mention too is this island is an island. The sink is over here. I know that sounds like, well, yeah, Amy, but really take a look at some of my other video tours. Most of the kitchen islands has this sink in it. So this is a pure unobstructed island space with one of my favorite things, which is the large sink with the window up above it. I love that. All right. So then over here, we're going to have an additional space right above me is going to be a spot for a lighting fixture with two recessed lights beside it. This is a great space for your kitchen table. You have your island, plenty of space over there to kind of pull up your stool and sit and have a bite. But if you need your table space, that's where this is going to be located. Pretty much centered here with this window. Again, they're really thinking about these floor plans. So center lighting fixture, two recessed lights right here with your dining table. And then back over here in all of this space is going to be that family room space. Over here, you've got your cable and your other components. So you're likely going to put your sofa and sectionals, chairs, all of that over on this side and your entertainment center uh, system or some built-ins over here. Over here, you can see you have your double slider that's going to take you out to your extended lanai. It's a beautiful lanai all the way um, over here to this side and out over here, which is going to give you a great amount of outdoor space. Behind it, you can see the two trees and you can also see the wall. Remember, we are in Claremont where we do not have flat topography. We have hills. So sometimes there are home sites and there are situations where somebody beside you or in front of you or behind you might be up a little bit higher. They might be down a little bit lower and that's exactly what we have here in this home. All right, so here is that primary bedroom. I love this. So from corner to corner, you can see the amount of space that you have here. Plenty of room for your king size bed, nightstands, triple dresser, chest of drawers, really a lot of usable space. Already thinking bed, nightstands, uh, chest of drawers, dresser, TV, lots of space in here. Back over here is going to be that closet. Again, please remember this home is still under construction. So no comments on uh, workmanship because it's, it's still being finished. Um, and I, I love kind of this stage because you can look at it right now. And then in a blink of an eye, oh, it's polished and Purdy. Okay, so here we are into the primary bathroom. Like this one as well because you have the two sinks right here. You have a quartz counter, those same white cabinets, but look, you got three drawers. All of these are soft closed drawers right here in the middle of this. You have your toilet, but then you also have this really big, large walk-in shower. It's got the same fit and finish as the other shower that we saw with the same tile work that goes all the way up. And then of course, you've got that same Lustello accent tile around it. So this, by the way, you know, if you've noticed, you've got this, this beautiful extended um, porcelain tile in all of those living areas. The only rooms that are carpeted are the three bedrooms. Even that flex space slash office space with that beautiful bay window up front has this porcelain tile as well. So a beautiful find in a beautiful community. This community, again, is Ridgeview, and it's located right across the street from Lake Louisa State Park. So if you like the outdoors, what better place? Just walk across the street and go on a lovely nature hike. All right, guys, remember, I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm a realtor here hoping to help you, guide you through this process of finding your new home here in Florida. So please give me a call at 407-848-8042. Remember, as always, please stay safe, stay well. Remember, we love you and happy house hunting.